parents immigrated from Czechoslovakia, or former Czechoslovakia, current Slovakia, and on one side, and my dad's side of the family, uh, great-grandparents immigrated from Finland, so very European background, but from very different cultures. Um, my artistic training is that I have a BA in art from Kalamazoo College and a Master's of Fine Art in Painting from Washington University in St. Louis. And it started really from a very personal perspective um, that I was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes in my early 20s and I just became very interested in knowing like what this insulin that I was suddenly forced to take to stay alive was actually doing to my body. And uh, so that was kind of my, my jumping off point in getting interested in pharmaceuticals. And from there, I've just been researching more and more about um, you know, how drugs work, what the origin of drugs are. And so my, my interest in the genetic modification part, which is what I'm currently interested in, which is uh, the con like a contemporary production method uh, that the pharmaceutical industry is using, it, it's really, it really started from a point of curiosity. I mean, there are all kinds of critical commentaries that could be taken away from this subject matter, you know, because of course there's lots of ethical and moral issues going on within, um, you know, combining, altering genetic, uh, altering individual species, right? But, but my point, since I literally take a drug, which was the very first genetically modified organism, um, because the way that insulin is produced now is through genetically modified bacteria. So I can't be, oh, you know, I, I'm not making a critical commentary about it because it's something that I, in fact, need in order to survive. This particular print is um, the beginning of an investigation on a, um, on a relatively new uh, species or a relatively new genetically altered species, the spider goat, which is an experimental goat that has been used in, uh, well, it's, in the, it's at the University of Utah right now, and this particular goat has been genetically altered to express spider silk, and so they extract this chemical from the goat's milk, and then they are able to convert it into uh, spider silk, which is then, you know, you're probably like, well, what does that have to do with the pharmaceutical industry? So, so then from there, it's taken from the pharmaceutical industry and made into surgical thread. Um, and the reason is, is that it's impossible to harvest uh, or to, to farm spiders because they are just inherently territorial and they'll just kill each other. So this is just one way that they have found that they can uh, produce a large quantity of this material. The, I call this piece a target, and that specifically references, uh, that's, that's a term used in the pharmaceutical industry or within chemistry, within lab, where they're actually like specifically going in and, and targeting a really particular point within the DNA, so that's where the title of this series comes from. And the color in this piece is, is very related to the pharmaceutical industry, I mean it, it feels very chalky, it feels very mm -hmm. pastel, and uh, it's, it's related to kind of the, the marketed um, colors that you see within pills and different medications, labeling. Uh, scientific illustration, that's always been a big influence. Um, I've always been a big fan of minimalism too, so I do like to kind of take a very sort of simple, sort of um, simple and very kind of subtle approach approach uh, to things. Um, you know, I don't really like to cite them as as direct influences, but I am aware and interested in the work of like Roxy Payne and. Um, Damien Hirst, of course, who deal with other biological and specifically medical drug-related topics. Mm -hmm. um, from where I'm going, like I, I mentioned, I'm kind of ending this project, so the, the place I'm going with this is that I'm, in, through my research, I'm becoming more interested in um, counterfeit drugs and how the counterfeit market is kind of filtering into mm -hmm. uh, you know, the existing pharmaceutical market, and I really don't know what to say beyond that because it's just something that's sparked my interest and I'm gonna see where it goes. Mm -hmm.